Hello everybody, Randy Bufford here and hope uh, everybody's had a, a great couple of weeks. I uh, wanted to uh, connect with you and right in here between these uh, cars all uh, flying by here. I'm on a race weekend with David, having a lot of fun. But I uh, wanted to, uh, A, first of all, thank you for the continued progress that we're making as an organization. In what is very difficult times, uh, it seems uh, we're requiring ourselves to do more, uh, you know, with either the same amount of resources and hopefully improve improving resources as we work on our HR component, our people, but uh, really a lot of extra governmental requirements and certainly competitive requirements as it relates to talent, uh, as it relates to our census and occupancy issues, and many more threats that we've been kind of feeling over the last couple of years, really, uh, you know, and I think uh, they are starting to stabilize a little bit, or at least our efforts around them are causing them to stabilize, and I want to thank you for that. Uh, but, you know, if you think about what I just went through and the uh, things that are required uh, to, you know, do the same things in a challenging time period, you know, something has to give. And I think there's a couple ways that, you know, given the same amount of resources that we can think about uh, our organization, uh, you know, getting better in those times. The first is we have to be more efficient. And to be more efficient, uh, that means we have to prioritize and think about what we're doing. How can we do it more efficiently? Uh, what can we uh, not do? And that would allow time for more things to happen. So you will be seeing us and, you know, we've been working hard with our executive director and director of health services and ADHS, uh, change of business task force. And a big part of that is uh, trying to make their lives better, have better work-life balance. And to do that, to achieve that, uh, we're looking at efficiencies. We're looking at ways to make their jobs easier. And I think you're going to see us taking that same approach in every part of the business, uh, looking to how to make our uh, support services more effective, you know, looking how to streamline our financial reporting, our external reporting processes that we all have to go to, through to do, including elimination of things that, uh, you know, don't add value. And uh, to give you an example, one that is a Trilogy service standard is our family call program. And certainly we uh, value it and we're going to keep doing it, but we're looking for ways for us to streamline it, to make it more efficient, to give our operators ability to execute on it uh, without as much work and yet hopefully create a more effective uh, resource for them. So you get the idea there. Uh, but more importantly, I just want you to be aware of this. We're moving ahead in the coming months and uh, years that this is going to be a continual theme for us is that we're going to be constantly being challenged. It's a very competitive environment. Others are failing right now. I've just went through all the earnings conference calls of the public companies. Uh, they all report their data. You know, there are people that can't even afford to pay their obligations right now. You know, there has been some overbuilding going on in the sector and those kind of things. Uh, certainly the government regulations, uh, you know, we're in phase two, the rules uh, that we're having to go through are all adding uh, challenges for us. And I don't think that's going to quit, but great companies like Trilogy, that's when we excel. So the cars are starting to crank up. I just want to have everybody know that I appreciate very much uh, the work you're doing in a very uh, difficult environment. Secondarily, let's all think ahead. Let's think about how we can do things more efficiently, uh, with more effect, and you know, every action that we take. And then I think all of us look at ourselves personally. I know I have. What can I get rid of that just doesn't add value or I'm wasting time on and those kind of things. So last not least, we just started this 40-day uh, steps program, and the last time the home office finished dead in the middle of the uh, pack, and you know, that's not my style, and I've got a little small Fitbit I'm wearing, so I can uh, add to it, uh, because uh, my Garmin wouldn't catch me last time on the smaller one we did, but it's all a great thing. The competition's about getting up and getting more well, so uh, if you get a chance, uh, log in. It's still not too late. We can get your steps counted, and uh, we'll have fun. Most of all, uh, that's the last message. You know, life's too short. Enjoy who you're working with. Take time for your family. Have fun. Celebrate every time you get a chance, especially with your family. Keep your priorities in order, and life gets better. So, thanks for your service. Thanks for your support of our best healthcare company, Midwest Mission. Take care. Have a great week.